What's up? Welcome. Linkin Park has dropped a new song, a second single to the upcoming album From Zero. This one's called Heavy Is The Crown. This is not just a regular old song, not just a regular old single. It's a League of Legends Worlds 2024 anthem. For those of you who are out of the loop, Worlds is one of the biggest esports events of the year. It's for the game League of Legends. Personally, I never played League of Legends, never was into it, never was into that entire genre of video games but you know I, I, I like a good lore i like a good uh good world building and it seems like league of legends have plenty of that and specifically today i'm interested in the lincoln park lore because this is heavy as the crown lincoln park let's do it Ooh, i love that sample in the back Meteora vibes immediately, goddamn. Oh yes. This is much more lively than the first single for sure. <laughs> the animation is sick. This is what she wants for. Mm. Okay. The chorus is actually kind of kind of nutty. I think uh, immediately this vibe is much more in line with what I expect, what I like. Big fan. Simple melody, but me memorable. Bridge. Oh, <laughs> we got some heavy. Hello. They got that long ass scream in there. That's 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 good. That's funny. A little nod to giving up. I think I saw a short clip of this on Twitter. She holds that note pretty decently live. I didn't know what song it was from. I was like, okay, this is it. Oh yeah, that synth is very... Sick. Very Meteora-esque. Very Meteora-esque. I'm a big fan of that. I'm a big fan of Meteora vibes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was... League of Legends uh, Worlds 2024 Anthem, Linkin Park, Heavy as the Crown, a second single from the new album From Zero. It's crazy to even be able to say those words, you know? The fact that we're getting a new album from Linkin Park and regular new singles from Linkin Park, is kinda, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird and... Um, not something on my bingo card this year for sure. So what do I think of the song? I think the song is much more in line with what the kind of older fan base of Linkin Park is used to. It's it's very clear to me that it's getting that Meteora, the first three albums for sure, that vibe, especially Meteora to me, kind of sounds like faint a little bit. It has a lot more energy on the verses from Mike, which is nice. And you know, it, and I think the chorus, despite being a bit more simpler, a bit more, you know, overall just like less explosive than the first single, uh, it, de it does deliver a nice deal of memorability to the song. Um, I'm gonna have to listen to it a few more times to kind of get the general more idea of what I think of that chorus, but I thought I liked it on the first listen. We got a little breakdown as well, a little a Hybrid Theory Meteora-esque breakdown there with Emily 
uh, shredding that note for like 18 seconds or something, you know, <laughs> a, a nod to Given Up, a nod to the legendary Chester scream on Given Up. Um, it sounds sick. It sounds pretty cool. Uh, a bit out of nowhere in the song, but I like it nonetheless. Like I said, I think I saw a little clip of this song on Twitter before it officially came out. Someone was filming like a live performance and they played that song. So Emily can actually hold that note for basically the entire duration of it, which I was really impressed by. It takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of practice and um, to see her perform that live just as well as it sounds in the studio is truly you know, commendable. I think this is a fine song. I think this is a song I'm gonna listen to a lot more than the than the first single, Emptiness Machine. Uh, this is definitely more in line with what I love uh, about Linkin Park. And for sure, for sure, my favorite single from now on. As far as the visuals go, goddamn, uh, it's, it looks sick. The animation looks sick. Um, Arcane is still on my list to watch. Uh, I, I haven't quite checked it out yet, but I believe the art style is somewhat similar to, to that show, so... Uh, it's kind of a nice little taste uh, for what it looks like. Sick animation, sick uh, live. Like, it looked like a motion capture of Linkin Park members actually in the video. You know, it's it's cool that they, they got this uh, invitation to be the anthem for League of Legends World. Um, pretty sick. Pretty sick visual uh, to accompany the song. Yeah, it's, a, it's another really, really cool track from this new era of Linkin Park. It still feels a little bit weird. I, I, I would be lying if I didn't tell you that. It still feels a little bit strange to me. Um, I'm gonna form my opinion when I listen to that entire album. Something tells me this album is gonna dive into a lot more of the earlier um, Linkin Park influences, which makes me happy uh, and cautiously excited. So uh, yeah, that's that's kind of that's kind of the second single. That's kind of my reaction to it. What did you think of it? Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know in the comments if you're happy that Linkin Park is back. Let me know. But that is basically all for me. Thank you so much for watching. Love you all. Subscribe if you want to see more of these. I'm here every day with some music for you, for your playlists. But that is all. Thank you so much for your attention spent today. It was very delicious. I'll see you tomorrow.